should be it should perform way better <laughs> right uh we did tease a little bit earlier um that bigger mansion building is that something we want to show off or hold off on to um stream? let's hold it off okay. let's wait because i don't know if i didn't want to show off that house anyways i kind of tease it a little bit i don't know if it's done yet a lot of these things i don't <laughs> know if the artist is done with them yet and i don't want to tease it off or tease it before it's finished somebody said oh while we do this put on the um main camera Make so camera. people can see info. Right. Somebody said, "Will the will the concrete structures be craftable?" And there will be craftable things like that. I don't. Right now, you can craft a foundation that's concrete. I'm not sure if that's something we want in final. Crafting's like evolving all mm -hmm. the time. Uh, there's going to be. It's the main pillar of our pillar of our game, or one of them at least. Uh, another one being world PvP. Another one being survivability, but. You'll be able to craft a ton of stuff. So I w crafting is like the least thing that I'm worried about in our game because there's going to be so many things that you can craft and it's going to be such a deep system that keeps growing and growing and growing that it's like such a cool thing. So I'm not worried about okay. that too much. Somebody said, what's the hardest part of my job? Um, I don't, that's a tough question. I think the hardest part of my job for level design is consistently creating really cool areas that are unique but using the same types of props mm -hmm. to keep the countdown and the, the unique object countdown. Um, that's usually hard sometimes. The hardest part of my job, I guess, other parts are like E3 is coming up. That's a really <laughs> hard part of the yeah. job, like having to talk to all the press for three days in a row. And, sure. You know, it's tough. Uh, yeah. But it's fun at the same time. It's not a, I mean, this isn't a, I mean, this is a great job. Yeah. If you are striving to try to be a game developer, go for it. I tell you, make all the sacrifices you need and get, get to where you need to go because it's worth it in the end. Um, Do you want to give just a, a minor briefer on how you got here? Uh, I was a QA tester. I called SOE and asked if they had any QA positions and they said, no, we only have customer service or translator. Mm -hmm. And I was there like, do you speak German? I'm, no. So <laughs> I went in anyways and was like, you know what? I know you guys only have CS, but I really want QA. Mm -hmm. And this is at the temp agency. Right. And going through a temp agency is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I totally recommend it. Sure. Um, and they're like, okay, fill out this questionnaire. And if they need QA, we'll let you know. So I filled out the questionnaire and they were like, oh my God, you play all, all these games? I'm like, yeah, I play <laughs> games my whole life. Like, okay. And so I got a QA interview. Started so in QA. play more games. Play is, more games. Point no, num seriously. Point number play, one. Dude, if there's some advice that I could give anyone out there that wants to be a game developer, not only play more games, play games of multiple genres. Mm -hmm. And if your friends are like, oh, I only play FPS games or, oh, I only play MOBAs or I only, you know, right. that's not the way to play it. You need to play all games of all different genres because all of them teach you new things and all of them give you skills that are directly relative to giving feedback, making, if you're a game designer, being a game designer. Yeah. Um, so don't, don't be a one trick pony when it comes to games, play lots of different you're games. Well-rounded game. Well-rounded. So anyways, I got a job as a QA and if you ever get a job in QA or customer service, if you just get your foot in the door, work as hard as you can because hard work pays off in this industry. It yeah. really does. Um, but yeah, I just basically worked really hard, worked my way up, and then got my dream job of being a game designer. So you went plant side two? Well, I started in QA. Start, I well, tested like every game that SOE has, and right. then Planet Side Two was Free Realms was my first one. And oh, then, okay. And then Planet Side Next, which turned into Planet Side Two, and mm. then now H one Z one. All right. Uh, let's see. Sorry, that was a long question. We'll ask some more. Will the players be able to spray paint or tag walls? Um, we're working on a system that makes it so people can... S it's, I don't know if it's called spray paint. I don't know. I know that we've talked about something like that. Um, I, let me get more info on that uh, before I answer that question. But it's. I know it's something that we've talked about. Uh, let's see. Do you ever have problems where you place a lot of stuff and then go into the world and find out that it's filled with trees since you can't see the trees in the level no, editor? No, because, I mean... the. You know that it's going to be a smarter system and make it so it you know don't put trees here type right. of thing. Um, so that's it, on the other end. With there the will be populated. bugs, no doubt. Early access, there's going to be bugs, and there'll probably be like trees through a building. But mm -hmm. you know, at, at least we can knock them down, right? Um, but that's all part of the process of of knocking out the bugs and ironing them out. What's QA? Quality assurance. Oh, here we go. To become a level designer, what qualification knowledge do you need? Programming, coding, etc. 
Um, to be a level designer, it's hard for me to answer that question <coughs> because, like, I didn't go to college. Sorry. I didn't take... I didn't go to college. I didn't... You know, it's always hard for me. Like, I'm not going to be able to tell my kid to go to school right. because, like, I didn't go to college. I dropped out. Um, I feel like I'm very fortunate. Uh, that's why I really drive the hard work part because that's what's gotten me this far is be working really hard. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you really want to be a level designer, I would highly suggest, I wish I did this at a much earlier age. Um, look up architecture, look up how things are built in the real world. You'd be surprised at when you're just driving down the street and you look at a bridge or you look at a town or a building, it just look at all the intricacies, inc inc intricacies, all the intricacies of every little thing in the real world you'd be amazed at how things are just built just figure out how things are built and then when you're building your own maps um use that knowledge do you find yourself doing that all the time now all the time i like drive i can't i can't drive down the street without looking at like what's going on with the even the terrain like the way the hills are right. and the way the and you know i look up stuff online all the time but mm -hmm. uh architecture is a big one uh but if you really want to be a level designer also Build, 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 build. You need to know your style. Every level designer has a style, and if you don't know what your style is, then it's harder for you to build stuff. Um, and the only way you can kind of figure that out is by building and building and building and reiterating and reiterating. Uh, once you have something built, throw it out there for the public to see it. Everyone's going to hate it, trust me. Everyone always hates stuff that you build because they all have their own opinions on what they want. But take the, the criticism with a grain of salt and then retool and retune and when it, you'll get to that point where you have your your moment of an interview or something that you've done and you'll want to have stuff ready that says hey look at all this stuff i've built look at all the things that i put out there there's a good question uh how much of the map do you design by hand or how much of it is you know like you were saying you, you put a lake there and it kind of so it's at a high level we have the map and we do the height field which is all of the major raw uh mountains and mm -hmm. valleys and lakes and rivers and so that gets all made first and by then, hand it's not all it's not procedurally generated no it is we oh, it is. i okay. mean they well i guess it's drawn but it's like i want a mountain range here sure right and that's like a ton of right of real estate that that's happening on but once that's done and it just gets generated it generates like what type of ecosystems to place on the on based on the t the the height field of the map. Oh, okay. Um, and then we go in and retool everything and paint and mm -hmm. kind of fine tune and stuff like that. All right. Um, sorry. I'm like going like off tangents on these questions. No, it's fine. We got to, we got one more minute. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can ask one more, another good question. Um, let's see. Is it possible uh, for the community to make areas for you, like giving the level editor out? So this question comes up a lot. Um, it's really hard for us to uh, have the tool just being given to the players for them to make something and then have us put it into the game. Um, that's why I wanted to do something like this, because mm -hmm. players always suggest making their own stuff. Right. Um, but right now it's really hard for us to do that. We can't really just give the editor out and let players make it. Um, and it's just... I don't want to sound, it's going to sound, oh, it's not going to sound mean, I guess. I guess it's just how it is. Ha having t too many cooks in the kitchen type of thing makes the games, doesn't make, like, every game has an art style, right? So, like, if you take a, you know, any game, right? Half-Life, right? Sure. Right. You have an art style in that game. If you let everyone, like, three or 30 or 100 different people build something for Half-Life and then put it into Half-Life it wouldn't all really fit the art style. It would right. look kind of weird. And then it's a lot of maintenance work. You got to make sure every single thing that people are making fits the art style. And it's just, it's really tough. Like that's something I think we'll get to there eventually. Like I guess Landmark does that, right? Sure. Landmark has, yeah. but when you walk around Landmark, it's just like random stuff everywhere. Yeah, right? It doesn't yeah. really have like an art style really per se, because mm -hmm. everything can be built anywhere. Um, but I think we'll get there eventually. We'll get to a point where, we'll be able to let players just build something completely and then throw it in the game. Right. Just and right, right now, now. Right now they can leave their mark, you know, they can. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you'll be able to base ways. build in game, mm -hmm. but what I think what they want is they want the editor. Sure. You know, they want the editor and then they want to build stuff in the editor and then put it in the game. Right. Right. We're kind of a little bit far away from that, but one day I hope, honestly, I really do. It'd be really cool to do that. 
Okay, so I think that's uh, that's Sweet. all that's the time we stream. have for today. Yeah. Um, so if you guys missed it and you're watching the VOD later, thank you for watching the VOD, and thanks to everyone else who stuck around this long. And I hope you enjoyed the stream. And again, follow us on Twitter. Follow uh, H1Z1 on Facebook. Follow yep. H1Z1 on... At H1Z1 Game on Twitter. At H1Z1 Game on yep. Twitter. Uh, you guys got to meet Greg now. Nice meeting everybody. You'll be seeing a lot more of me in the future. He's Legion. I am, yeah, SOE underscore Legion on, on, Reddit. Uh, on Reddit and on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. Sweet. So. so, yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody, and I will, you'll <laughs> probably see me around. I'll see you around, too. Yeah. All right. All right. Goodbye. See you, everybody.